What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing work on my 2016 Ski-Doo Summit. Now myself personally, I've never really torn into a snowmobile, but the way I see it, an engine is an engine. I mean, still got pistons, still everything rotates the same. Grant, this is a two-stroke. It is a little bit different as far as how everything functions, but hey, it's still an engine, and we're gonna see what we can Fortunately, it broke down last year, and I pulled it apart quite a bit already. Um, just gotta work on getting these cylinders off. Right here, we'll leave the power valves on. And then we're gonna send it off and get the cylinder machined. This particular one is a seven millimeter. Just kind of, oh yeah, look at that coolant start to come out of there. That's going to be a huge mess. Guess I better see if my drain pan is going to catch it all. Find out where it's falling out at. Oh yeah. I might be able to catch that. If I do this slowly. Now what we're working on, this isn't the technical term, but this little exhaust, um, this is exhaust, but I'm going to call it a header, because essentially it's kind of what it is. But we've got to take out these Allen screws, there's four on each side, and they are a six millimeter. It's a little tight, and a little time consuming, since I don't have my normal sockets that would fit inside there, so i got to use this bad mamma jamma right here but that's what we're working on right now alrighty so we got this one off but check this out we go back together Check that dude out. Stainless. I don't know what good it'll do, but it'll look a lot better than that. That's for sure. As I failed to mention, I didn't originally organize all these. I just took everything apart because I was hoping it was going to be easy fix. But slowly with my mind and looking at all the bolts, uh, if you do your own project, I strongly recommend doing something along these lines so you remember where everything goes, where it came from. So you're not like me trying to remember what in the world that bolt went to and then just having to try and figure it out. Just makes the whole process a lot harder.
Now we're ready to take the cylinder head off. Which looks to me like there's six 13 millimeter bolts. Kind of one, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's get that process started. find out if these are torqued to yield. Torqued to yield means once they're torqued, bolt stretches, and you got just every time you redo it, you get new new bolts with everything. this out to you guys see right all that that's all aluminum from a piston and then right down oops missed it right there and you can kind of see that there's a little ding in the side there anyways got these all cleaned up well good as I'm gonna get them without parts washer but now that they're all cleaned up I get them all shipped off they're gonna inspect my power valves redo my cylinders check the head out make sure there's no no damage done to the head and um, yeah that's pretty much where we're at right now with this thing all right, got the top end up got it all boxed up now we just gotta start on the bottom end. We gotta pull that bottom end out. All we're doing with that, we're just making sure there's no parts and pieces down in the bottom of it. I think it causes us a problem later on. So that's what we're gonna start with right now. Check it out. the pistons out these have a roller bearing the wrist pins got a snap ring just pull that dude out no big deal this is the problem piston check that damage out it's missing a piece there missing a big old gouge there then look at the missing ring that's probably what caused a lot of this and see somewhere in here right here look at that it's a hole that's a gouge all the way through that dude that right there is the problem one this is the cylinder that was still somewhat good 
not a whole lot of wear on it still got decent ring in gap I'm not a hundred percent sure what that's supposed to be but this wrist pin see how it slides in and out nice and easy this one over here I'd use a screwdriver to push it out it's 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 stuck in there but all those parts are getting replaced so we're not worried about that got the bottom end all the way out of the sled didn't quite see it on the video mostly because it was a pain the battery died etc but here it is out on the bench now we're gonna start tearing it down conclude this video I ran into a little issue with tools but I'm gonna order it up we'll be able to crank back what we need is a flywheel puller I don't have one of those with this but hey thanks for watching tune in next time for more fun shop projects